The long-awaited Samsung Galaxy S8 has arrived at Appalachian Wireless. Get yours for the introductory price of just $149.99 with a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Becoming a deputy jailer at the Pike County Detention Center requires more than simply filling out an application. It requires many hours of training in the classroom and also training that is a little more intensive. The jail held a taser training class today for their newest deputy jailers. Jailer Freddie Lewis says he thinks his employees should not only be well trained, but experience what five seconds of 50,000 volts is like. Our job is not to, um, you know, beat on people, to be brutal to people. Our job is to basically restrain someone that is either a danger to themselves or a danger to one of our officers or another inmate. Uh, the only time that we expect our tasers to be used here in this jail is if it's an absolute have to. And then once the person is subdued and they're down and they're no threat to nobody else, then at that point in time, uh, our job's done. One thing is certain, a deputy jailer will definitely be more hesitant in deploying his taser once having experienced it for himself. I was watching other guys and I didn't think it'd be that bad but until it hit and it's, it's pretty rough. It's, your whole body just stiffens up and it's, it's wild. It's something everybody should experience really. It puts a lot more responsibility on what you have, what gear you use and just what options you have. You know, it's good to have it just in case but there's still going to be more options to use before we use any kind of non-lethal or lethal force. Jailer Freddie Lewis went on to say his deputies must also go through a similar training and be exposed to pepper spray. Reporting from Pikeville, I'm Sean Allen for EKB News.